Hey everybody, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on ticker INTC or Intel Corp. Looking at some recent news stories here, there is one talking about the recent whale trades on Intel. It says someone with a lot of money to spend has taken a bearish stance on Intel or INTC. And retail traders should know. We noticed this day when the big position showed up on publicly available options history that we track here at Benzinga. Whether this is an institution or just a wealthy individual, we don't know, but when something this big happens with INTC, it often means somebody knows something is about to happen. So how do we know what this whale just did? Today, Benzinga's option scanner spotted 24 uncommon options trades for Intel. This isn't normal. The overall sentiment of these big money trades is split between 41% bullish and 58% or bearish. Out of all the special options we uncovered, 10 are puts for a total amount of 514,683, and 14 are calls for a total amount of 692,898. What's the price target? Taking into account the volume and open interest on these contracts, it appears that the whales have been targeting a price range from 25 to 55 for Intel over the last three months. Volume and open interest development. Looking at the volume and open interest is a powerful move when trading options. This data can help you track the liquidity and interest for Intel's options for a given strike price. Below, we can observe the evolution of the volume and open interest of calls and puts, respectively, for all of Intel's whale trades within a strike price range of 25 to 55 in the last 30 days. So that's kind of what they're showing right here. Um, on this chart, as far as volume and open interest goes on some of these calls and some of these puts. So let's take a look here at the price action and we'll kind of take a look at some of those strike price ranges um, and see how that relates to the recent price action. So they're going between 25 and 55 there. So I've got the daily chart pulled up here on Intel and they did have a nice day on Friday, finished up over 2.12% there. Looks like they pulled back just a little bit in after hours trading. Um, but then Thursday was a big uh, bullish engulf candle there. This thing, um, a lot of stocks did this kind of move on Thursday and Friday, having really good days. Uh, you can see this candle here ate up the previous three. So something interesting here, if you like to trade the daily time frame, um, is that the price is approaching a very key $48 level. So if you zoom in here a little bit, you can see back in late October, um, this thing gapped down around earnings and sold off to 48, rejected it nicely, rallied up all the way to like 52, and then started to sell off again. And you can see again here, uh, late November, it rejected that 48 level again. So after that earnings, big sell off, couple of moves down there, but it, you know, kind of a double bottom right there um, to test that 48 level and it rebounded off of it very nicely. Then it made this run up to about 55, 56 before uh, earnings again and had another big move down. There was another gap down here um, after the most recent earnings. Um, and then another gap down here. This was uh, February 18th. So between 17 and 18 here, you have a big move down. A lot of stuff um, is showing gaps in the chart with inflation and uh, Fed talking about the rate hikes and the Russia-Ukraine war, all this stuff going on. Um, but then this hard rally here, um, Thursday and Friday of this past week brings it up to a very key level. And like, this is really key here because we know this was a previous support level, but also the 21 day exponential moving average is sitting right at $48. So I think this is really key. Um, Intel is about to show us, you know, what, it, what it's going to do here. Um, if, you know, we have weakness in the markets and, Intel starts to sell off right at this 48 level. I think that would be a good short entry. Um, if this thing starts to back away from this 21 day exponential moving average and this uh, previous support level here, um, I think that would be a good short entry. And I think this thing will come down and test around 40, uh, $44 here. Um, and then, you know, if the bulls are able to bust this thing through this 48 level, then I think it could make a good move here. Um, you can see in this latest uh, series of moves here, it made it all the way up to about 50. So I think if this thing can break above um, this 48 level and close above this 48 level, um, then I think, you know, it's going to be a good sign to break through that level and 
uh, you know, we could see a pretty good rip from here. So yeah, you can see here a pricing around $50 and then moves above that, put it all the way up to maybe 52. So I could definitely see if, you know, the bulls could take control and blast this thing through the 21 day EMA and this $48 level. I think this thing could make some pretty good runs, maybe up to 50, maybe as high as $52. Um, so I'll continue to keep you guys updated here on ticker INTC or Intel Corp. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.